Hey guys and welcome back. Today is going to be another super quick ClickSense tutorial. And this is something that I came across when I was um, at work today and I thought this would be super interesting. So uh, what we're going to do is if you're interested to see how you can build like a dynamic chart where in your table you want to show the trends based on different measures whether the trend is going up whether it's going down denote them with different symbols in this example you have an upward arrow or downward arrow in case sales is going down in case sales is going up an upward arrow um, a color of green and red to indicate whether the trend is upwards or downwards or you can even show it as um, as a symbol uh, with a flag to highlight that there's an issue or a star to highlight that it's um, uh, that it's green, um, that things are looking good. So if you want to learn how to do this, um, that's what we're going to learn today. So stick around. Let's first start and put our table here. We can put one of our dimensions. I'm going to use um, country as my dimension. And, and then I have two measures. And one of the measures that I'm going to use is sales last year. And I have another measure saying sales current year. So this is the two sales that we have. And what we're going to do here is to see if sales current year is much better than last year then i want to highlight it as an upward trend otherwise a downward trend so how do we do that let's go to add measure and we're going to add a measure here so let's make a quick if statement so if sales current year is greater than sales last year then I wanted to show an upward arrow and here's a list. I'm going to link this below so that you have an entire list of different symbols that you could use. And so if you look at the character, which one you want, um, and you have the code here. So I want an upward arrow. So I'm going to look at, uh, this is the one that I want 9650. So here I'm going to put CHR for character and 9650 otherwise i wanted to show a downward arrow so chr again and let's look up the code downward arrow is here 9660 so it's 9660 so if sales this year is greater than last year then i wanted to show an upward arrow which is a character of 9650 otherwise i wanted to show a downward arrow which is symbolized by character 9660 Sorry, old habits, you know, we all screw up. Yeah, so now you have it here. So you see that in these cases, we have upward arrow here. We know that sales last year was actually higher. So it's showing a downward arrow. That's great. And this is exactly what we wanted. Next, let's change the background color. Let's do the same thing here. So if sales current year is greater than sales last year then I wanted to show um, in green so I'm just gonna type green and two brackets and then otherwise I wanted to show in red so in in case the trend is down I want all the downward trends to show in red so I'm gonna put the background color expression here and now it looks like it's super easy to find out which one is an upward trend and which one is a downward trend. So I'm going to write this as trend. Um, and I don't like that it's in the side. I want it to be in the middle. So let's go here still under my trend. And you have text alignment, which is auto. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to put it center. So now it looks nice and um, center. Great. So how do we how do we do it if we want a star or some let's use some other symbols. Let's let's do something different here. So now I want to sh highlight all in case my sales is higher. I want to want to highlight it by a star. Otherwise, I want to highlight it by 
um, maybe maybe this one here flag um, yeah this would be good so what we're gonna do here is let's create another measure and we're gonna say the same if sales current year is greater than sales last year then I want to use the character star um, so let's go on top and where is star where are you 9734 so I'm gonna use 9734 otherwise I want to use character um, flag here flag where are you flaggy flaggy 9872 9872 and okay and done so now you see that it all corresponds so we could um, um, let's make this as symbol let's also make it center and you know just to change this let's keep the background the same and let us change the color of the symbol itself so now what we can do is go down to symbol and go to text color expression and here we're going to give the same 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 kind of uh, expression here so that is if sales current year greater than sales last year then i want the text expression so the text or the symbol color would change symbol color i want it green otherwise i want it red and so now the same expression applies to the symbol as well as the color so either the symbol will be green and star or it will be red and flag as you can see here but we could use two different ones you see the ones which is colored out so that is 9873 and maybe we have a star which is colored out as well so that so that was 9873 9733 so 9733 and 9873 so this is just gonna have more color it's gonna be filled out yeah this is what we want and i think it looks really nice it gives you an extra boost when your users look at the chart uh, they don't want to spend so much time looking at oh what's the number here what's the number you want to give them an easy way to interpret the data like that's your job as a developer and this is where these what i've realized is these tiny tiny details that you could put in in your apps can if you can cut down the user's time by even like a couple of seconds they're going to be so so glad because now they just know okay france is lower so they know exactly which line that they have to look at and it's um, these small things have actually um, helped me get promotions <laughs> so um, i really hope it helps you i hope you use it and stick around for more cheers